Hi, my name is Eric Latender, and I am author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. And today, I want to discuss the truth about dog training collars and leash walking. Leash walking can be very difficult for a lot of dog owners. What happens is that they get the dog as a puppy, and as a puppy, it's not too bad. And when you have a little puppy, you know, it's pretty easy to bring them for a walk. But as they get older, they start to drag us around, and I've seen more than a few people get injured because their little Great Dane puppy turns into a big puppy and decides to take off and drag them down the street. So, a lot of dog owners will resort to getting a choke collar or a prong collar. They put these collars on and they can get results, but what you have to be aware of is cross associations. Cross associations are when your dog associates the correction from the collar with whatever he or she is looking at. So for example, your dog sees another dog, they start pulling because they want to go say hi, you give a correction on the prong collar, now your dog associates the pain of the collar with the other dog that they're looking at. Too many of these cross associations and it could lead to aggression. And that's why you have to be careful when you're using a prong or choke collar. You have to remember that your dog is just doing normal canine behavior. It's important to understand that your training affects your dog's behavior. And if you use a lot of harsh training methods, it will have a big effect when they become an adult dog. So I'm not saying that choke collars and prong collars aren't effective. They can be very effective, but we have to be careful when we're using them because we don't want to change the dog's behavior and develop any aggression problems. So try to be as positive as you can when you're training your dog, and you'll have a nice, stable, happy, well-adjusted dog. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.